Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is April 26th, and right now we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery, and you can see we've got the curly Q right off the coast. It actually looks like a little bit of a, a double-barreled low-pressure system here with this overall trough across uh, the west coast of the USA, and we're bringing some moderate and even some heavy precipitation across portions of Southern California here today. Can't roll out a thunderstorm with that activity as well. And then we'll take a look at what is to come over the next few days and what is to come through the extended forecast as well. So so taking a look here at uh, the observations currently right now, you can see the combination of Doppler radar, San Luis Obispo, you can see Santa Barbara, a couple good rounds of rainfall, and look at this moving towards the Los Angeles metro as well. Lesser amounts probably for San Diego versus areas further to the north, but you can see the low pressure system spinning right off of Point Conception as we speak here this morning. Looking at lightning strikes here over the last 24 hours, they did get a few across the Sierra Nevada, right across the Oregon-California border as well, and we do have that potential yet again today. And including some of Southern California as well. And speaking of lightning detection systems, this weather station has a great one with it. Click on the link down below if you want to save 10% off on one. Very fun weather station. You cannot beat it for the price. Highly recommend. Now taking a look at the European model, put this into motion and there is our upper level low that we're been that we're going to be dealing with here for the next couple of days. But as we go on into Sunday and Monday, you can see it slowly trudging off to the east, trying to keep some troughing around. But we're going to start to warm up as we go on in through the following week here. Coming up, as you can see, that ridge building up all the way up the west coast of North America. And then we'll wait to see what this next frontal system brings. This is the very end of last night's European run. I'll show you what the artificial intelligence model shows here in a moment also. But yeah, here is a day one today. You can see that does include Southern California portions of Nevada, Northern California, and tries to get down towards the Los Angeles metro. Day two, you see how they have this pushing off to these, but there still is going to be the threat for a thunderstorm or two, especially across the higher terrain. So here we go. National Weather Service Bay Area. Weekend rain and isolated storms. So you can see uh, on into uh, Saturday morning, which is right now, and then we got Saturday on into Saturday evening. You can see the percentages get a little bit higher there. You know, isolated ponding and not too big of a deal. There's a, a little bit of small hail might be a possibility as well, and maybe a thunderstorm or or two out there. So heads up, kind of a rainy day. You can see that chances aren't that great here, but you know, so they're generally 25% or more in many areas. They're 50% or more. So this, as far as like Big Sur and Gorda, you get a bit further south, King City and Pinnacles out there as well. So looking at mountain travel delays, this is from uh, all the way on and through Sunday morning here. Three to eight inches of snowfall above 6,000 feet. They did update this here Saturday morning. That is today. Localized amounts up to 12 inches over some of the higher peaks, peaks and light accumulations all the way down to 5,500 feet, which is definitely below pass level. So watch out for those slick conditions if you're out and about across the higher terrain. Some gusty winds, especially across the ridge tops out there. So rainfall today, you can kind of see how Anaheim right there, what, two, three tenths of an inch. And then you got San Diego, one to two tenths of an inch. Higher um, or across the higher terrain, like a Big Bear, two to three tenths. Wrightwood, a four to almost a half an inch of rain there as well. And if you get off across, you know, places like Palm Springs, we're not expecting measurable precipitation out of this system. There's El Centro there as well. Now, winds, as we go through the day today, you can kind of see the spin in the atmosphere, and it's going to kick off those winds as we go through this afternoon and evening across the higher terrain, desert areas. You get the strong, typical northwest winds down the coastal areas here in the wake of that system. be a little bit strong as well, and we keep those westerlies going all the way on in through Monday morning before we start to relax that gradient a little bit as that system finally starts to kick off to the east. So here we are, wider view, Hawaiian Islands, bottom left. There's the state of California, where I am circling to the right of this this map and you can see our low pressure center here on in through the day today many areas getting a pretty decent actually rainy day here and again the snowfall for the higher terrain we scroll in and through sunday and you'll see we still have some of these showers around as we're in sunday afternoon some of the snow is still flying for the sierra nevada maybe still some light precipitation across some of the uh, the foothills let's call it and some of the higher terrain in southern california and generally just light amounts elsewhere then you see as we go on in through monday morning that system is pulling off to the east but if you had noticed we still pop off some showers across the Sierra Nevada, maybe a little bit of light precipitation, transverse peninsula range. And then we go on in towards Tuesday afternoon, you'll notice a little bit of shower activity as well. So I just want to kind of point that out for people going off in the backcountry. It's not going to dry out immediately for some of the higher terrain as we get in the wake of the system. And then we go through Wednesday afternoon. Again, the Sierra Nevada kind of picks up that shower activity there. That is for Wednesday afternoon. And then we go all the way on in through Thursday and kind of see this regime where you're getting these showers here across some of California, including the Sierra Nevada. Nevada and portions of Nevada. And then you see that next frontal system out here at the coastline, this next trough taking shape. We'll watch this over the next few days to see what kind of impact that will have on the state of California and the West Coast. 
So looking at the North American model, high resolution, this is what the Doppler radar may look like here over the next 60 hours. And you can clearly see, as I showed you, we're getting some moderate, maybe some brief heavy rainfall with this system here. And some of these could be spinning a little bit here. It looked a little bit messy here this morning, but there is some instability with that. Wouldn't be surprised to see maybe a little water spout out there or something. But you can see this trudge through as we go through this afternoon. Here's about 2, 3 p.m. Looks like some light rain across San Diego. It's not a lot there but you know the cloud cover will keep the temperatures down as well and then you see as we scroll on in towards tomorrow morning still some light showers around for southern california and the spin in the atmosphere again bringing another round of rainfall and snow for the higher terrain of the sierra nevada as that pushes off to the east as we go on into the um, monday morning hours right there now if we look at total precipitation in inches so this is last night's european run and it's calling for you know what over a quarter of an inch for Los Angeles. Some areas, you know, Santa Barbara County up over a half an inch, maybe a little bit more, and lesser amounts down towards San Diego. It doesn't look like a lot, but, you know, anything is definitely favorable. And then we scroll off in towards this weekend. You kind of see that system uh, kicking off to the east there. Now, taking a look at the upper levels of the atmosphere, kind of just showing you that we got that upper level low around, and that's kicking off to the east as we go through the day Monday. And you can kind of see the ridging developing out here across Pacific Ocean, this warmer air aloft, and that makes its way towards Pacific Northwest and much of the west coast. And then you can see the next batch of cold air here, which is marks the next frontal system, and we'll see what that has in store for us as we go on in towards uh, the following weekend and we'll just see how far south this frontal system can get and what kind of impacts it has uh, 10,000 feet something similar upper level low tracks off to the east then you can see the warmer area with the clockwise rotation anti-cyclone known as high pressure out over the pacific ocean and then the next frontal system starts to arrive as we go through the end of next week so Artificial intelligence, of course, you got our upper level low. I want to see when it's a prog to rain again across California besides the afternoon showers there. There goes that frontal system we talked about a little bit there. And you see it really loses its punch for the most part, but it does kick off some precipitation across the higher terrain as we go on into the following week. And so again, not much of an impact there on the artificial intelligence model. And then we'll scroll off in the future there, but it may not be done with this. As we go through early May, look at this a little bit of a system here moving in way off into fantasy land. You take that with a grain of salt of course but you know maybe we're not done with systems yet these mid-latitude cyclones now taking a look at snow depth in inches so this is something we've been watching the last few days you can see as we go through uh, the day today you can see that snow accumulating maybe two three four inches for some of the higher terrain of the transverse range and then you can see some of these slopes of the sierra nevada getting a, a bit of snowfall you know three four five inches and then you get of course uh, you're adding on to the sierra nevada and then you can see as we go on into sunday that tracks off to the east and then you can see that snowfall melt so it's not going to last long maybe a day or two for southern california and then as we go through the upcoming week you can kind of see it scale back across some portions of the eastern sierra nevada as well uh, looking at daily two meter max temperatures, definitely much colder than normal here across much of the state of California. Some areas 20 plus degrees below normal, only topping out around 60 degrees for many areas. And look at the desert areas, are dramatically reduced here as well. You got to go way off down across Mexico or West Texas to get the really warm temperatures there. I mean, it, I guess it's relatively warm across portions of Arizona there. But look at Las Vegas, even Death Valley. I mean, you're only talking about maybe up into the low 80s there. So bring a jacket if you're headed out there. Go to Sunday, bounce back a little bit there. Then Monday, Tuesday, we're back to normal here as we scroll off in towards next week. And for some of the interior areas, it's going to be above normal. Some of the coastal areas will remain below normal as we go on in through next week as well. And I'll show you some of that here right now. This is a two meter temperature anomaly. So this is a one day running average. You can see this trough, just how much it's cooled things down. But then you also see as it moves off to the east, we start to warm things back up. But the coastal areas, San Diego, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, you're going up the central coast towards the Bay area and even all the way up towards Crescent City, you are still remaining a little bit below normal. But once you go across from the interior areas, you're dealing with uh, the above normal conditions out there. So yeah, we'll scroll that through one more time and you can kind of see that trough move through and then the warm up occur as we go on in through towards next week. Uh, looking at the, uh, across the Colorado uh, River Basin, not doing too great there. I think it was like 62% if I was not mistaken. I looked at another uh, bit of data here earlier, but yeah, we're not doing too hot here across a lot of the Colorado River Basin. This is what feeds a lot of Southern California as well. So maybe this upper level low will bring some additional snowfall here. And you can see we've kind of tailed 
scaled off some of these numbers as I've been showing you on a daily basis across much of the state of California as well. And you can kind of see that about 70% statewide the snowpack is. And you know, we're going to pause that here for a day or two and maybe you know, we'll slow that roll a little bit. We've been declining quite rapidly a little bit more than what we normally do. And there's the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook and the 6 to 10 day precipitation. I don't know what they're looking at too much here. So this was issued yesterday. Uh, but yeah, that's what the Climate Prediction Center showed yesterday. So we'll, we'll continue to monitor that off through the extended forecast. Won't get too caught up in that just yet. Uh, but there is the 15 day precipitation anomaly as of last night on the European Artificial Intelligence. And you see not a great signal out there for you know, the Colorado River Basin and snowpack out there and whatnot across the higher terrain. So, yeah, not great for the rivers out there. But anyway, um, a little bit above average signal for some locations, but in kind of a mixed bag there across much of California. And look at this. We're approaching 33,000 subscribers. So click like and subscribe. Maybe we can get there today or tomorrow. It's been a slow, steady climb. But, yeah, you can see over the last 28 days, what we've got over you know, 450 subscribers. So, anyway, appreciate everybody out there. Thanks to all my uh members who pay with their hard-earned money help support the channel you guys this is not possible without you and again much appreciated check it out we just got another subscriber but anyway yeah we will do this all again tomorrow um yeah what else and i will talk to you guys then